Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to World's Best School of the Week. I'm your host, Stone Mountain, and landing in the winner's spot, just as he does in this clip, Chavez took the win. Every Monday, I feature 10 of the world's best clips that you guys send in, link in the description below, for you, the audience, to vote on which clip's the best. Keep sending in those clips, and they can be from any game. My Rainbow Six Siege bonus episode just went up two days ago as well. Check that out. Also, if you use Facebook and you actually want something good in your feeds, go like my Facebook page, which I post additional clips, highlights from this channel on, and we just hit over 500,000. Thank you so much for that. But without further ado, starting us out with the Juliet spot, Drew Lander trying to finish off this bomber when the player hops out. No time to turn around if he wants that roadkill. It's time for some ace piloting. We are starting the week strong with the upside down roadkill. As soon as he landed from the parachute, was about to walk off into the distance. Four health left on his plane as well. Coming in for the India clip, Polsky is setting up some AT mines on a place where you normally really wouldn't see vehicles go. Unfortunately gets taken out here, but is it unfortunate? takes out a heavy tank, which you couldn't even see on the right side there. Just barely, over 2,600 points, nine kills. And one more time in slow-mo replay, have you ever seen an explosion that big in this game? Although, and my subscribers obviously don't need to worry about this, size doesn't always matter. Even something as small as the Calibri. <laughs> can slay a century. How does the two millimeter bullet even penetrate the, uh, you know what? He hit 25 to the head with this thing on a century. It's gotta be hacks, right? Coming in for the golf clip, disappointed that backseat gunner was nerfed and not getting a single hit marker with it. Tree decides to take it boots on the ground to defend the objective. And I hope everyone on that team sent him a message saying thank you. <laughs> Also looking to pull off an amazing kill streak, Spenny, without a plane to assist, uses the trenches to get behind enemy lines and tears apart the attackers. If the enemy forces are gone. making it back to safety and stopping that push. Coming in for the echo spot, showing off that martini sniper. Bombers got their flank.
Coming in for the Delta Clip, as if going after the fastest flying plane in the sky wasn't hard enough. Oh my god! Oh my god! I just no scoped a pilot, bro, like across the map. Awesome. What the fuck? <laughs> Bringing it into slow motion, look how far he had to lead this shot, no scopes it, and gets a headshot from 340 meters away. Coming in for the Charlie clip, who else would like to start a game this way? And no, I don't think it's gonna go quite the way you're expecting it to. Preemptive fired <laughs> tank shot. Coming up for the Bravo clip, starting with the nasty headshot. Meets looking to clear this room from range. We have lost objective done. And finally, for the alpha clip, Eddie's showing us that positioning is key. Bipoded up as his teammates get slaughtered, he runs a feed on the enemies to hold Butter's objective. We have taken objective Butter. Oh my god, look at my limb charge, guys, get ready! Oh! You guys missed it! Dude, I am so recording that, bro. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to the channel to see the latest and check out all of the previous episodes already up. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for even more live streams and videos coming later on this week. That's it for this one. This is Stonemount64, over and out.